Anyone can win the lottery, but some people need the money more than others. Imagine being homeless at one of the lowest points of your life, living on the streets, only to be blessed with a lottery win. That's the story of the people in this video. Whilst buying lottery tickets definitely isn't the best way to get rich, the story of these homeless people will make you glad they won. Amazing! Number 10, Michael Engfors. 61-year-old Michael Engfors of Aspen, Colorado, was homeless for six years after losing his business and going through a divorce, but he never let his misfortune dampen his spirit. He was described by gas station clerk Gabby Garcia as a regular lottery player who only usually won a dollar or two. Some might say that there were more important things to be spending his money on, but Michael's bet paid off, beating the astronomical odds of 840,000 to 1. He won $500,000 on a $10 ticket. $500,000? That's half a million! Imagine dropping that chunk of change into your wallet. What did Michael plan to do with all that cold hard cash? Where most people would have bought a mini mansion, or at least restarted their business, Michael only wanted to do one thing, to find his daughter, who he hadn't seen for over 20 years. Number 9. Emily Reyes just off the infamous Route 66 doesn't exactly sound like the most likely place to catch a lucky break, but that's precisely what happened to the next person on this list. When Texan Emily Reyes found herself part of the growing homeless population in her hometown, desperate and addicted to drugs and alcohol, Emily hit rock bottom when she ended up in prison after stealing to support her habit. When she was released from the Amarillo jail, Emily surprised more than a few people, but perhaps herself most of all, by buckling down and accomplishing the truly momentous task of pulling her life back together with a minimal support system. She promptly checked herself into a woman's homeless shelter and, craving by craving, clawed her way to sobriety. She was celebrating six months of being sober when she bought a Texas two-step lottery ticket. In a stroke of good luck, Emily won $200,000, matching all four numbers in the Thursday drawing. She planned to use the money to get a fresh start in life, but made sure to pay it forward by sharing some of her winnings with some other women at the shelter. Number 8. Grant Freeman by all accounts, Grant Freeman shouldn't have been able to win the lottery, considering that there is no actual lottery in Nevada. An avid gambler, Freeman made his way to Las Vegas with high hopes of hitting it big along the strip. Unfortunately, as so often happens, he instead lost everything and was forced to live on the streets, begging spare change off of tourists, only to spend it all on the slot machines that very same night. But he could only go so long before such an unhealthy lifestyle took its toll on him. Freeman got himself the heck out of Dodge, hitchhiking 40 miles to Nipton, California. It was there that he spent $2 on two Mega Millions tickets, which he paid for in pennies. I bet that cashier was amused. The lucky stars must have been shining on him that day because Freeman won on both tickets. $8 on one, and on the second, he won an enormous $180,000. He has since reportedly turned his life around and has learned his lesson about gambling, though he is known to buy a ticket or two once in a while. Number seven, Victor Herrera. There is no denying that while Miami, Florida is considered a beautiful place, it also has some of the most brutally hot summers. Victor Herrera found himself face to face with that heat when he became homeless following a divorce. He and his son were, thankfully, able to move in with his sister, but her apartment was cramped before they got there and lacked air conditioning. One night it was particularly hot, so hot in fact, that Herrera found he couldn't sleep. Hoping for relief, he got up and walked down to the store to purchase a bag of ice. Instead, he came out with a $5 lottery ticket. That particular ticket beat the 15 million to 1 odds and earned Herrera an astounding $250,000. That very night, he, his son, and his sister checked into a hotel and turned the AC on full blast. Herrera has since used his winnings to buy an actual house for his child to grow up in, with air conditioning, of course. Number six, Eric from Magic of Rahat. The next person in this list didn't even officially win the lottery, but a homeless man named Eric earned internet stardom after being featured on the hit YouTube channel Magic of Rahat. In this particular video, Rahat gave Eric a lottery ticket and handed the clerk $1,000 so that Eric could experience what it was like to win the lottery. Millions of hearts across the globe melted when Eric burst into tears of relief and even offered to share his winnings with Rahat. Touched by his selfless gesture, the people of the internet banded together to raise enough money to give this young man 
and a fresh start. $20,000 seemed like a lofty goal, but this goal was not simply met, it was exceeded. A total amount of $44,000 was raised to help get Eric back on his feet. The majority of the money was used to rent and furnish a house, whilst the rest was put into a monitored bank account. Talk about getting lucky. Great job Rahat and the people of the internet. Number 5. Steve Borick Imagine if you got the win of a lifetime. You buy that ticket, because hey, why not? It's fun, but you're not expecting that much. After all, how many of us even know someone who's won more than 10 bucks in the lottery? But imagine if you won $25,000. What would you do with that money? Would you buy a car? Maybe you could finally pay some of those bills you're behind on. Steve Borick couldn't even get a hotel room, because this homeless lottery winner was not allowed to claim his prize. Due to a situation in his life two years prior, he lacked the ID required to collect such a large winning. When he tried to get a new one, he was told he needed a birth certificate or passport. The real catch-22 was that both of these documents required a form of identification to get them in the first place. After five months of trying, Steve could only hope he'd be inside by Christmas time. Thankfully, some amazing individuals at CBC News volunteered their time to make a few calls and track down the proper paperwork for him to receive his birth certificate. While Steve did miss his Christmas deadline, a little more than eight months after he hit it big, he was finally allowed to collect his money. Number four. Laszlo Andrzejczyk. This person won one of the largest amounts in this video, but it's what he intends to do with this money that really earns him his spot. In 2013, Laszlo Andrzejczyk was a recovering alcoholic who was in debt up to his eyeballs. He'd been homeless for seven years and described his life as him always trying to plug holes by making new ones. Facing yet another year of homelessness, Laszlo made a choice that most would have considered foolish when he stopped at a train station on his way to Budapest and spent the last few coins to his name on a lottery ticket. He recalled picking six numbers, only to have the cashier remind him it needed to be seven. He told her just to make it 24. It wasn't like it ever matters. Oh, but it did. Laszlo stunningly won 636 million forint. That's the equivalent to nearly 2.5 million American dollars in 2017. Obviously, this changed his life forever. What's equally amazing was that his win wasn't even noticed until 2014, when he made a significant donation to the homeless shelter he and his wife had lived at. This guy was a careful spender. With his and his family's debts paid off, this amazingly unique man turned his attention towards creating a foundation for addicts and battered women, hoping to offer them refuge in a world that so often tries to deny their very existence. Number 3. Crystal Nelson Crystal Nelson was living in a cramped truck with a friend for five whole months, delivering papers for the Daily Journal in Illinois, when she found out she'd won $50,000 on a Powerball ticket in July of 2017. Despite this shocking win, Nelson maintained that her life would not change, no big spending or impulse purchases for this gem of a human being. She didn't even seem to be in a hurry to find an apartment, though she thought she might get a new car and was going to help her brother in Arizona pay off his house. Think about it, you're living in a car for five months with another person, and the first thing you'd think of doing when you win the lottery isn't getting a new place to stay yourself, it's helping your family keep theirs. She certainly set the bar high for selflessness. Though she did admit that she would like to possibly take a vacation to Arizona or Kentucky sometime, and that it might be nice to find some place to live that was more permanent than a parking lot. Number 2. Dennis Maharan Dennis had been homeless since 1978, approximately 25 years before he won $50,000 in the Michigan Lottery in 2013. Did he use this money to buy a flat screen TV or a shining new truck? Maybe just a house? Nope. Dennis bought himself a new tent. No one would have faulted him if he'd used that money to help get his life back together. But apparently, as far as he was concerned, it already was. He used the rest of the money to help out his fellow members of the homeless community. As someone who knew what it was like to hit rock bottom, he decided to pay it forward and share $100 with just shy of 500 other homeless people. He had his critics, some people who stated that if he couldn't even take care of himself, he had no business helping others. But I think that most of us agree that this man is incredible and one heck of a decent human being. Number 1. Emily Leach gives ticket to homeless man. This one isn't exactly about someone so generous. Emily Leach struck pay dirt in January of 2011. 
winning a whopping $1 million in Mountain View, California. She used this much needed money to pay off a substantial medical debt, buy yet more tickets, and to pass out random acts of kindness. One such act was to hand $100 to a homeless man behind her in a line at the very same gas station where she purchased her original winning ticket. In the process of this transaction, Emily claims she accidentally handed the man one of her scratch tickets, an act of generosity that turned out to be far grander than either of them could have imagined. When she learned the same homeless man won $260,000 on her ticket, and was, according to her, even claiming that some of her luck had rubbed off on him, she complained to the California Lottery Commission. Investigations into her claims seem only to prove that Leach gave that man the ticket. Footage even reportedly shows her giving tickets to several other people in the store. The Lottery Commission maintained that it could not comment on who owned the ticket until it was claimed, but they did say that the chances of winning 1 million in the previous January's jackpot were 1 in 1.2 million. But to win that $260,000 was a whopping 1 in 3.9 million odds. So there you have it. What would you do if you won the jackpot? Let me know in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.